We tend to think of Japanese cherries as being something that flower in April and May. We tend to think of them as street trees, but there are these wonderful early flowering Japanese cherries that come out in February and early March and probably up country they would be early March and just just look at the amount of flower that we have this is Prunus times income Akami so remember the name Akami uh, small pink flowers in enormous clusters on every node, every twig, every end of bud that grow on this tree. This tree was planted in about 2007, so it's uh, 13 years old, and it's really quite a size. It's got the most lovely bark, and it's got the most lovely flowers. What a harbinger of spring. And you ought to think about that for your garden. And I'm now gonna show you two other Japanese cherries which produce an equally good show very early in the year even before the magnetos are out and before you've even started thinking about going out in the garden and enjoying yourself. So we're two days on from Storm Kiara if I pronounce that right which I'm not sure I have but anyway it was a very bad Sunday and the aftershocks and thunder have been terrible but here we've got Prunus Conrad Dini um, also known as Prunus hertipes, absolutely wonderful, survived the worst that the storms could throw at it and flowering away with single white flowers absolutely beautifully uh, in the first 10 days of February. Who could ask for more than that in a woodland garden? So here is the third of these wonderful Japanese cherries flowering in early February. This is Prunus cursor. Again, it's a Japanese cherry. Again, it's been battered by force nine gales, and yet its flowers are still showing up nicely in a brief intermission between the thunderstorms and squally showers. A few flowers have been blown away, but you, when you look at these pink flowers, they're slightly bigger pink flowers than Akami, but like Akami, every twig, every branch has got flowers on it. And this is an exceptional plant. It's new to the Burnkoos Nurseries catalogue this year. And those of you who've never seen it will be stunned and amazed at actually how good these early flowering Japanese cherries are, how different they are from the big blousy flowers we get from the Matsumai cherries or from the street cherries in April and May. These are totally different, but they're very vigorous and they're very floriferous and they start off spring as nicely as the early magnolias.